All right, guys, welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you for joining me in this series. We're going to be, well, I've wanted to cover this game for a while now, but I just never had the time. Now I have the time to do it. Uh, it's going to be a great game. I've played some of it, I'm not going to lie. So I, I already know a little bit of what's going to happen, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Um, probably by the time you see this, you you guys probably already know how the game ends probably you guys already played it or you've seen it it's been out since october 28 um yeah so if you're new to the channel please like share and subscribe okay guys welcome to red dead 2 we're going to start a new series today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I have a little bit of a cold. Sorry, so I apologize in advance. Uh, this, so this game, for, for those who don't know, um, obviously it's a Western game. Um, I believe it takes place in 1899. Um... I think the main, the main character's name is Arthur Morgan. It revol revolves around him. But even though it's Red Dead Redemption 2, this game is actually a prequel to Red Dead Redemption 1. Now, if you haven't played Red Dead, Re Red Dead Redemption 1, you have to. It's an amazing game. It really is. The story and everything. Obviously, it's by Rockstar Games, so the story will be really good. Uh, now, I'm not going to try to talk through the cutscenes. I'm going to, so you guys can watch the cutscenes, so I don't distract you guys. And during the game, we'll talk and we'll have fun. But I'm not going, uh, also, I'm not going to, I'm not going to roam around the, the whole map. It's a huge map. It's a long, huge, o open world. I'm just going to go through the story get to the story with you guys and I'll do my own roaming around on my own time so that we okay I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest, buddy. You know. An old man in town. Bandit. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! So like I said before, I was really cut off by that guy. Um... I can, I'm going to play the story for you guys. I'm going to do my own roaming around. Uh, we're not, that's not going to be recorded because I don't want to waste too much time. I just want to get into the story for you guys. I know that's why you guys are here. Now let's get it. Chapter one. supplies well first of all you're gonna stay here and you were gonna get yourself warm now I sent John and Mike a scout now to head Arthur and I we're gonna ride out see if we can find one of them yes just for a short bit and I don't see what other choice we have listen listen to me all of you for a moment now we've had well, a bad couple of days. 
I loved. Davey. Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. Well, we ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask you. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son! Bye. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. It's been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Okay, as you can tell, I don't know if you guys played Red Dead One, but there's Dutch again. I don't know. Now you can tell this is a prequel because nah, I, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I don't want to ruin so much for you guys, but Dutch, Dutch is in the first one as well, Red Dead One, but. He's only in there for a short period of time. I think maybe halfway through the game. Uh, but you have to play it to see what, what happens. Like where he goes, what he does. Seems like he's leading this gang. So I look at the light too, eh? You up ahead. Who's there? <clears throat> the horses. Mike. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was hmm. a real fighter. Both of them counter boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. So no, this game. Look at the snow in this game, eh? You can talk to him too.
Oh, oh, where are we going? What? Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a bit of a cold. So like I was saying, this game, it, it broke several records. Okay. Uh, Alright. Let's head down there I talk, okay. It broke several records. I, I read it, it, it made over $700 million. I think in the, in, in the first, when opening weekend or something like that. Like, that, that's incredible. Like, Rockstar game like this. I think it was... And that, that I, I think it was just the second... The second highest. Like, probably, probably, yeah, probably the second biggest launch in history. In, entertain, in entertaining, entertainment history. I don't know what the first one is, but holy crap. Seven over seven hundred million dollars open weekend. That's crazy. I know. I know it sold over what thirty million copies in retail alone. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Mike, hide behind that way. Arthur, you take that old shell. Okay. I know this this game won a lot of awards. I don't know if it won Game of the Year. I think um, I think God of War took that award last year. But I know this game had the best narrative award, and I think Critics' Choice Award. It might have won something for the music as well. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll see how good it is. Weapon, I guess. Now, What's going on here? There's a body in there. I uh, who am I shooting? For much. I shoot. I am kind of desperate. All right, I thought. Whoa. Let's get out of the way. Shoot him! Is that? He's not dead yet. But, oh! Ah, uh, you're done. Done, son. You guys just like popped up in here. Oh, what the hell is going on in here? Okay. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. <gasps> that was too close, man. Smells like a party. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Of course, whiskey. Who doesn't need a drink in this weather? She come to Canada. So this game, I think. So I guess this is, this is the type of game where you have to collect 
you gotta find stuff and you just gotta search for it. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw him. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Mike found a dead body in the wagon outside. Now I'm assuming I'm gonna have to search every part of this map. Okay, son. Now I heard a lot of good. I heard well. We heard a lot of good things about this game. This game took uh, how many years? Five years did it take for this game to be made? They were making it five, six years. Like it's incredible. Okay, let's see what's in here. Dollar sixty. Okay. Some jewelry. Oh, premium cigarettes. I don't smoke. Oh, card. <coughs> Get that cigarette over me. I don't smoke. I'll keep the card though. Excuse me. Can we get everything? I don't want to miss anything. Yeah. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, ah, you search okay. the cabin, see what we miss. <clears throat> God damn, it's cold outside. I hear a horse in there. Alright. Oh! Oh my god, man. You scared the hell out of me. Man, he jumped all over me. He tried to beat me up. I would kill him. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Where's Colm? Oh, shoot. We have the others. Talk, man. You're going to die either way. I'm killing you either way. You try, to, you try to kill me. You try to jump me. Part of my language. Crunch. You hear that crunch? Okay. Crunch. Did I call him the horse? So I guess this will be a new ride. Continuing to, to bond with your horse increases its trust in you and improves its attributes. So pretty much what I was saying, the higher the level the horse is, the faster it goes, it makes better turns, listens to you. Whoa. 
she's one of them or Driscoll. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss. Miss. Are you fucking oh, fool? Michael. Miss. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss. Miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Killed her husband. Now she's a widow. Hey, somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get off? Uh, Mike have found a homestead, but we weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Out in the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Mr. Bars. Mr. That Brown, rent. you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Do you see a bunch of darkies? Okay guys, I'm going to end it end the the video right now. But there'll be another video coming up shortly. So if you like if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Tell all your friends if you have not already. And yeah, I love you guys. See you on the next one.